We've got a baby dedication to do this morning. And uh, it is the first time in a Sunday service that Ash and Carlos are here with their new addition, their new baby boy, Jaden. So would you guys come up? I, I want to invite all of their family to come with them. So Frank and Barb and anybody else that's here. Uncle Icky. I was thinking this morning, um, I've been through a lot of things with a lot of people in this church, a lot of things, uh, walked through a lot of things with a lot of people in 24 years of ministry, but I don't know that I've ever walked as any closer with anybody than I've walked with Carlos. And uh, you know, from the moment that Barb and Frank brought these kids into their life, um, there was just a bond with Alex and Carlos both. And uh, Carlos hit about the, about the deepest bottom you could ever hit for a young man his age. And I remember when he was in juvie and just wanted to give up and just uh, kind of what Daniel was talking about in Sunday school. Daniel was talking about almost drowning in Hawaii. And he said the weird thing was when I went, when I was above, the, when I was fighting to survive, when I was above the water, there was the storm. But when I just let myself sink under the water, it was almost peaceful. And he said, sometimes when you're in a storm, it seems like it's easier to give up than it is to fight on. And I thought, boy, how true that is. And that was where Carlos was. And uh, went down and talked to him. His dad went down and talked to him, prayed with him. And now look at what God has done in your life. Standing here today, married, beautiful little baby boy, and beautiful wife. God bless this man with a wonderful wife who is also a wonderful mom. And uh, so we want to dedicate little Jaden to the Lord this morning. So full name? Jaden Daniel Gazarbell. Jaden Daniel Gazarbell. Awesome. Amen. So we're going to pray over him. And if we could, could we turn all the lights off if that's possible? Thank you. And uh, I'm going to hold him. And Carlos, can you? Yeah, maybe, maybe you hold him, and I'll I'll pray over him, okay? And then I'll then I'll take him from you. Father, I thank you, Lord God, for all of the little things that you did to bring this life into the world. That you subtly, Father, brought Julian and Ashley here. Father, you moved in Carlos's life and you wouldn't let him give up. You wouldn't let him give up on you. You wouldn't let him give up on himself. And you wouldn't let him give up on life because you saw this moment. And I thank you, Father, for all the little events that led up to this point and them getting married and, and, and Ashley getting pregnant and bringing this little man into the world. We pray over Jaden today, Lord God, that he will at a young age, make a personal commitment, a personal decision to follow Christ. Lord, I pray for Ashley and Carlos that you give them great wisdom to raise this young man, to raise him to be a man of God should you tarry. Lord God, to be a man of God, to be a man that changes the world around him, that will refuse to leave things the way he found them. I pray, Father, that you would come upon them with prophetic insight into Jaden's life. And I thank you. Father, I pray for the moments they're going to be insecure. They're going to wonder if they have what it takes, but they do because they have you in their life. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. And we pray over the other 11 children that Ashley's going to have. <laughs> so hold on just a second. That was, you know, hey, you got to know Carlos and I. You know, we have just been weird together for so long. I love you. 
Amen. Uh, so worship team, you can go ahead and come. I don't know where you go from that moment, but.